Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So, what happened? Bitcoin just had another flash crash. We're still going through it right now. Bitcoin is sitting below $65,000. So, what is happening? Should you be worried? Is the bull run canceled? Let's talk about it and everything else that's going on today. Let's do it. Welcome, 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 guys. Take a look. This chart does not look very good right now. 64,900. After my stream last night, things were looking good, and then boom, we had a 5% crash, and now we have gone down a little bit lower. <laughs> And alts are bleeding right now, too. So what is going on? Well, there's a couple things that I believe is going on. Um, but I'll start the show with this. When in doubt, zoom out. So have we seen a flash crash this year? Yes. Have we seen a flash crash last month? Yes. Have we seen multiple flash crashes last month? Yes. <laughs> so... Um, so when in doubt, zoom out, okay? And know that basically what's going on right now is we're going sideways. Yes, we have some volatility going up and down, up and down. But yeah, we just gone through this not too long ago. In fact, about a week ago, multiple times, okay? And we fell down as low as 60,800. So just know that this happens. But why... All of a sudden, why suddenly? Well, that's that's what I'm gonna explain. There's two reasons I think. Number one is this week we're we're in a new quarter. We're in Q2, uh, and this week we have Daddy Powell that's gonna be speaking this week. Okay, uh, not only him but all the other FOMC members will be speaking. I don't know why, but people are still kind of like cautious ahead of a speech. Anytime Powell is set to speak, there's volatility right beforehand. I don't know what it is, but it happens like every single time. So actually, if you look at the U.S. market, it's also selling off. I think people are quite worried about what he may say, even though he already said three rate cuts are coming this year. So I don't know why people are afraid. It's not like he's all of a sudden say, well, we're going to raise rates today. You know, like that's not going to happen. So what is people afraid of? I, I don't quite know. So that that's number one. We do have that, okay? Number two is what's happening right now is another wipeout of leverage, okay? And that's what's happening. Yesterday's flash crash, again, wiped out. $165 million in longs, okay? And it's continuing. It has not stopped. Look at this. It's ugly in terms of the longs, the long squeezes, okay, that's been happening. And I do believe that every single time this happens, this is the primary reason to get rid of, of all the leverage plays. And I'll show you a heat map that shows you exactly that, okay? Uh, obviously with the dip, you could see, uh, look at what has happened, okay? This is the heat map of, of leverage. You could see how heavily yellow and orange is like very, very, very heavy, heavy leverage. And then green is basically no leverage or blue, right? And you could see, People were making money left and right all the way up to about March 14th. That's when we had a huge dip and wiped out basically everyone. And then we had a whole period from the 14th to the 25th <coughs> that basically no leverage because people were afraid. Too much volatility. But recently, things have started up again. And you can see from the 25th to the 31st, a lot of leverage again because people were making money thinking that the volatility is over. And then boom, what happened? 
Yesterday happened and wiped out all the leverage once again. You can see on the very right side, all green. It's all gone. So I, I actually think this is what's happening. It's like there are, I, I don't know, I can't say who, the exchanges, maybe the exchanges themselves, the market makers. They're having a whole lot of fun wiping out all the leverage, guys. That, that's what they're doing. They're wiping everyone off. They're, they're cleaning the, the slate, so to speak. Okay, and I think that's exactly what's happening because they know that there's too many people that are too greedy setting their crazy leverage and this is just a simple way to wipe them off and liquidate them. Keep in mind, who wins? Who wins with liquidations? Well, you could argue the other side, but really the ultimate winners are the exchanges that's offering the futures. They make their fees no matter what. They're going to win. They're the house. They can't lose. It's like going to the casino. The house can't lose, basically, right? That's the same way the exchanges. So I think this is this has a big, big thing. As a, this is the primary reason why it's happening. Um, so this week, I think because of Fed Chair Powell and because the market makers slash exchanges want to wipe out the exchanges, this is why what, what happened. Right, and it, it, it should have happened yesterday, but because yesterday was April Fools, I think there was a, a break there. But you know, I think this was ready, set, and planned. So that that's really it. But like I said at the beginning, have we seen this before? Yes, just last week, and the week before that, and earlier in March, we had this happen many, 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 many times already. So there are a lot of people that. I see in the, in the live chat, I don't know if you guys are trolling or not. Like people are like calling, oh, 50K by, by lunch or 50K by this or whatever K by whatever. Okay, we're not going anywhere, all right? We're, we're still sitting in the 60s and we're still perfectly fine, but you just gotta be careful, right? Right now, there are still a lot of people pulling the strings, who I call the market makers, and they're doing some fishy things right now. That's what they're doing, right? So don't fall for the trap. Don't get fudded out. Stay in the game. Stay in the game. Make sure you don't leave, no matter what. Well, not no matter what, but <laughs> but you get you get my you get my uh, you get what I'm saying. Um, something else that's not helping right now, also starting with this week, and we'll see how today is, is Grayscale, okay? Now, Grayscale, last week, even though they dumped and dumped and dumped, there was more buying the ETFs than, than, than Grayscale selling. But yesterday, unfortunately, we went back into red because Grayscale sold another 300 million, and BlackRock and others could not compensate, could not make up for it. There's a negative 85 million net flow. That's bad. That's bad, right? So part of it could be from, you know, uh, Grayscale settling after the market. But, you know, it's kind of weird time. I don't think it has to do with that at all. But still, this is a ongoing thing. Uh, still waiting for Grayscale to stop. I don't know when they're going to stop. I mean, or whoever's selling Grayscale shares, they're just not stopping. They just keep on selling. Right, and it's getting tiresome. I know I'm sick of covering Grayscale selling 300 million per day or 400 million per day. That's just ridiculous. I still don't know who's selling so much from Grayscale, but eventually it's going to stop. Eventually Grayscale is gonna have nothing and basically they're gonna be out of business. And all that business will go straight to BlackRock and Fidelity. Um, but you know what? As long as we have, as long as we have buyers, as long as we have whales, as long as we have long-term investors, okay, um, it's okay. It's okay. Like this guy right here, Mister One Hundred, that continues to buy. He bought. 600 bitcoins today 400 yesterday 
accumulated over $3.8 billion worth of Bitcoin. That's even with the drop. So regardless, who's selling at Grayscale does not matter. Long-term holders will prevail over time. Long-term holders like you and I, and then the whales, and you got like Tether now. I covered Tether buying by the billions. MicroStrategy still buying by the billions. El Salvador and the funds. It's all going to add up. There's only so much Bitcoin to go around. So whoever's selling right now, they're going to regret it dearly later on. Okay, so don't follow the sellers. Follow the buyers. So right now, if you're looking at the accumulation score, you're looking at all the all the, the different types of people. Are they still buying? The answer is yes. But it has light, it has loosened though. You can see the very right side is kind of like light blue, not dark blue. So people are a little bit more cautious, but you can see that the very top, very top. The whales that have more than 10,000 Bitcoin is buying more than the sharks and retail investors, right? It was very heavy all across, but then once we hit like about 70,000, the, you know, the buying kind of slowed down a little bit, but those big boys, the main whales, so to speak, are still buying and accumulating, right? So this is all that matters in the long run, long-term holders, continue to hold all and DCA and whales continue to accumulate and we will be okay. We will be okay. <clears throat> and here's something else that tells you that we will be okay. And I remember this in 2017. In 2017, when we hit 20,000, that was phenomenal. And then we went down, right? And then Back in 2021, uh, well, actually back in 2020 after the last halving event. So the last halving event, we had to wait until, uh, we had to wait until like really September, October-ish before we saw Bitcoin rise. And then you can see on the left side, we tried to break Bitcoin's high from 2017 a couple of times. It did not happen. In December, it was really close and then it dropped 25 percent then we hit it and then we dropped 20 percent once again and then we never looked back so starting from december on we never looked back we went from 20,000, actually at that point 17,000, all the way up to 64,000 without stopping okay so back then and i was streaming back then yeah it was frustrating like, it seemed like we couldn't break through 2017's all-time high. And I remember people saying, we're not going to break through 20,000. No matter what, we're not going to go higher, right? That, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. But the difference is we did break through. We broke through 2021's high many, many, many times, right? But now we're, it seems like, oh, we can't break through 73K. Oh, you know, like Bitcoin is stalling out or... Or uh, Kappa was right. No, it's none of those things. I think we're just being manipulated right now. We got Grayscale still selling. We got the market makers trying to wipe out leverage. Getting ready. Getting ready for this giant breakout. Basically what's happening. Okay, we got the having event that's coming up in a few weeks. This is a way to wipe out as much retail investors and drive as much of them out as possible because what comes next is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be just like in 2021, you could see after we start moving up, we're not going to stop. In 2021, we went from 17,000 all the way up to 64,000 really without stopping. Very, very, very little. And that was back in December, that was months. That's like six months after the halving event. This time around, I don't think we have to wait six months after the having event. No, I think it's going to start soon. So again, don't be feared out of the market right now or flooded out of the market right now. You don't, you definitely don't want to. And, and if you zoom out some more, this is what it looks like. 
again, even with the drop, you can't really see the red. So if you're showing someone this chart, like, I don't know how you can not be bullish looking at this chart. Bitcoin doesn't always repeat itself, but it tends to rhyme. And if you were studying the pattern, you would know that what comes after where we are right now is very, very bullish. And we may not stop until we hit $500,000 by the end of 2025. Keep in mind, we're not even halfway through for this, this year. So again, don't be feared out of the market. Know that this happens. It just happened a week ago. Yes, it happened a week ago. So this is perfectly normal. And yeah, stay in the game. Stay in the game. That's it. That's really, really it. All right. Outside of Bitcoin, uh, anything else going on? Well, when it comes to memes, they're not going to stop. You could argue that memes are, I mean, it's breaking the cycle. It shouldn't be this hot, but it is because the cycle is very different, right? It's so hot that BNB now is now putting up a $1 million reward to attract meme coins. Mm -hmm. I told you guys this is going to happen, right? Avalanche led the way. Now BNB wants to do the same thing. Soon you're going to see Polygon, you're going to see Solana, you're going to see Base, all these chains come up with funds or rewards for meme coins because meme coins are definitely a big narrative for this cycle. So it's not going to stop. And then also gaming too. We see a lot of large funds, A16Z, has a $75 million gaming fund. And even Polygon and Immutable have a $100 million gaming fund. So gaming narrative hasn't, ha yeah, I really haven't hit yet. But I think it will. So memes, games, AI, RWA, or tokenization, I think these will be big narratives this cycle. All right, guys, let's do some Q&A. All right, scrolling up here, let's see what I've missed. Nova says, keep selling. I want cheaper prices. That may have been bottom. This uh, 45, no, 64.5. If we do go lower, I think we'll bounce off to 63.7, like, like here, utilize the support. I don't believe that we will drop back down to 60,000, but who knows? I think if you're looking at like the RSI, we're in oversold territory already. So we may just be bouncing from here, but... Yeah, a couple things, like I mentioned, that's probably affecting this. Stocks plummeting too, yup. Caffeine injected. I live in Florida and hate Orlando. <laughs> so, people agree with me. Orlando, no good. Unless it's just like a short vacation. I mean, I, 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 you know, Orlando isn't bad as long as you don't go during like high traffic season, I think. Um, let's see. Any news for ETH? Not really. Not at this time. Uh, let's see. This is pre-recorded from three hours ago. Yes. Yes, this is uh this is not live. This is pre-recorded using AI. 
Crow, it's a great time to average down. Crow your coins. Everyone, everyone should go buy some crow coins. You know, a lot of people have been asking when I'm going to come out with my meme coin. You know, I'm thinking about it every single day. I think it would do very well. Uh, Rose K, uh, member for 28 months. Awesome. Um, let's see. Do I like Illuvium? I like the, do I like the Illuvium? Not really. I've been waiting far too long for them to release their game and they're still not done. So no. What do you think about BlackRock creating a fractional reserve system of Bitcoin by using ETFs? BlackRock creating a fractional reserve system with BTC. Well, I mean, if they're going to do it with anything, Bitcoin is the best asset to do it with, right? Okay. I uh, highly suggest Destin in Seaside, Florida. Is that a city or a place? I think this is the last time to buy tickets at this price. Uh, you mean crypto at this price? Well, I mean, like I just showed you guys, this thing, this pattern happened exactly almost exactly the same way last cycle but we're just ahead we're like eight months ahead it happened in december november december of 2020 2020 this was after the pandemic crash too so that's why i think it, it was delayed but we had the same thing looked like we couldn't break through uh our previous high and bitcoin was stagnant for a whole month and then boom we broke up and never stopped. Was the coin you were referring to in the Orlando video Litecoin? Yes, and it's garbage. Have you panic dumped your Costco hot dog? No, yesterday I said I sold a little bit more than half, so I still have half of what I have. If you make a meme coin, us OG subscribers should get an airdrop. It'll be interesting. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, you know, because I'm not really serious about it. But if I was going to do something, it would be, it will be interesting. it will be a culmination of everything I know about memes and airdrops and, 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 uh, and circuit supply and total supply and everything. Like I have to put everything together and I'll create the ultimate thing. But, you know, I'm not very serious about it. What do you think about real world asset coins? Well, basically tokenization of real world assets. Yeah, they're doing very well. Me personally, I just don't like them. Like I, I even I covered them last night. I, I have to give them props for what they're doing. Like Ando has done really, really well. And there's others in this space. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not interested in tokenized treasuries and tokenized stable coins or fiat. Just not interesting to me. It's not, it's just not something that I like. Quinn says, so shout out to my wife. Uh, well, what's your wife's name? Are you still bullish on Wade Hourglass? Not really. Um, I'm not not bullish, neutral on them. I'm still waiting to see them, you know, incubate some good projects. Right now, I, it doesn't seem like the projects they're incubating are doing all that well, but that could certainly change. And obviously, I got involved because of the show, and um, there doesn't seem to be a follow-up on that. Did I retire the greatest bell in business? Well, considering I've been streaming here in my new 
place for two months without it, I think you can answer your own question there. Uh, thoughts on DOP that will uh, anonymize transactions? <clears throat> What's DOP? Drop ownership power. What a horrible name. And making transactions private, that's not new. A lot of people, a lot of projects do that. So I can't say that's actually revolutionary or anything. You think VeChain is overvalued or top 10 spot? I don't think it's overvalued or undervalued. I think it's, it's right around where it is. It should be higher. It should be a lot higher, but they don't do any retail stuff. They need to do more retail and then uh, the price go blow up. And what I mean by retail stuff? Well, like things that retail people care about, like DeFi and, uh, and let's say memes, for example. Um, or even NFTs, even though NFTs are not hot this cycle, but I mean, at the very least DeFi, right? There's just not a lot of DeFi happening. There's zero. It's not, there's no TVL in, in V chain. Uh, if they change that, I think, you know, it'll do a lot for V chain. Do you think Axie Infinity will ever make a comeback? I don't know. I don't know. They got popular because a lot of people were playing them in Southeast Asia, utilizing it as a way to make money. But if Axie... It's kind of Man, my connection just dropped out for a second there. OCD, on-chain dynamics. Well, I got to say, I love that symbol, but it's zero. Cock. Cock is down 17% today, but you know what? Still around 300 million. They were almost 400 million just two days ago. Cock is still leading the way when it comes to when it comes to memes on Avalanche. <clears throat> Any updates on Pub, Community Active, Great Recovering TG? Well, you already answered your own question, so. What other update are you looking for? Um, I'm not going to say those things. Uh, Seaside, Florida is where the Truman Show was filmed. Only really old people remember Truman Show, like myself. I actually really enjoyed that movie when it came out. You don't see movies like that anymore. Not that it was the greatest movie, but a lot of original movies never make it anymore. Do you think it's crazy that WIF is almost the same market cap as Adam? Uh, it actually was higher, I think. Yeah, no, it's still sitting there. I mean, this is the power of memes, okay? You could argue that, you know, some people argue, well, memes are destroying the, the ecosystem or memes are destroying Bitcoin or whatever. I mean, the, the reality is, just like any crypto, you have... A really strong community that believes in it and, and they simply hold the token that or the coin that's really it um you could say adam for example is the greatest l0 out there right but as long as they keep on inflating away um and 
people do not hold the token or the coin, then it's just not going to go up in value, right? So, I mean, this is the power of memes. I mean, just look at, you, you could say, you could already make the argument about Shiv and Doge. Don't you think it's crazy that Doge is higher market cap than Cardano? Cardano has so much going on, right? Doge has nothing. <laughs> That's like a slap in the face, right? Same thing, Doge is above Avalanche. Sheeb is above Polkadot and Chainlink. Aren't they slap in the faces? I mean, yeah, you could think about that way. Or you think about, well, they brought in a ton of people to the space. They brought in a ton of people to the space. And those people continue to, to support those coins. That's really it. And it could happen. And I said, Whiff is going to be the sheep of this cycle. And there'll be others that will do probably equally as well, if not better, um, this cycle. I mean, we're only at the beginning. Just wait until second half of this year and also in 2025. That's when it's going to get really crazy. <coughs> Thoughts on debt sensor and mind verse? I, I never heard of either one, so no. Gatadius, DOP not listed yet, data ownership protocol view site. Um, I'm not going to do that, even though you sent a lot of super chats. I'm not going to look at something new right now. Thoughts on PAL and DGEN? Well, they're very different, Obshik. PAL is into AI, and DGEN is just a meme coin. So I'm not in either one. Uh, just joined in, Tim's Entertainment, which AI to pick up on a dip? Well, you heard about how Fetch and Singularity and Ocean, they're going to merge, right? So I don't know how they're going to do it, but whenever, whenever AI leads the way, usually Fetch goes up first. Like I've noticed Fetch is, is the most dominant coin when it comes to AI. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how they're going to combine all three. It's, it's going to be interesting. But I would say Fetch. Can you check boss on, of cats on soul, legit or rug? If it's a rug, then don't ask me about it. It probably means it is a rug. If you think something's going to be a rug, it's probably going to be a rug, so you don't need to ask it. Uh, what do you think about Injective, Cosmos Chain? You know, Injective, I don't know what happened with Injective. I got to say, all the momentum in Injective disappeared. Uh, it's actually quite disappointing. Um, I don't know what happened. In 2023, they were the strongest performer of any L1. And then in 2024, they seem to have lost all of it. Um, a lot of Cosmos chains that had a lot of momentum lost a lot. So you could see ever since they're at the same point when they first, you know, beginning, you no know, end of 2023, they've been basically going sideways since then. You know, I, I don't, I don't quite, I don't quite get it. I guess people are just rotating their profits out into others right now. But, you know, Injective, Celestia, I mean, um, what's the other one? Uh, Say, they all been kind of like weak recently. But doesn't mean I'm giving up on them. Just kind of a little disappointed that they have been um, so lackluster, so to speak. Yeah, I think this might be, we're heading up a little bit. This right here, this 40, 64, 5, may be, may be the bottom for today. <coughs> I got a buy order at 62, 6. What do you think? I don't think it's going to hit. I think this might be 
this flash crash may be short-lived. Maybe we don't recover all the way back to 69,000 right away, or maybe we do. But I, I honestly think today, what happened today and yesterday today was just to wipe out the leverage. Like, honestly, I think there's just the exchanges or market makers are like, okay, people are too greedy once again with the leverage. Let's just wipe them out. I mean, that's what it looks like. People are going crazy over Pepe leverage. You can see uh, in the middle where all the, the heavy orange is, it's all Pepe. Anime series. First of all, stop adding me. Is that's my pet peeve. And the more you do it, the more I'm going to ignore you. And will there ever be a Bitcoin killer? No, there won't. Nothing will ever replace Bitcoin. Did, it, did I buy the dip? I can't because I'm streaming right now. Or otherwise, I would have thrown some leverage at right here, 64.5. I think that was a good spot to throw some leverage. But that's just me. Were your 10x picks in this crash? Okay, first of all, again, don't at me. And second of all, I'll, I'll cover that. If we're still low tonight, which we may not be, but I'll, I'll cover, I'll go down the list again. And it really hasn't changed because I just did a list like a week ago. The good projects are still good. Just because they dipped down a little bit does not mean anything has changed. Brian says, do you think it's better for a project to be good at a lot of things or specialize in a few? Specialize in a few, of course, just like in real life. It's better to specialize in a few skills and be mastered at them rather than, I guess, be jack of all trades. Although there's nothing wrong being jack of all trades, too. I don't know, Brian. It's a, it's a toss up, I guess. Crypto King says, don't be exit liquidity. I repeat, do not be an exit liquidity. Well, if you you have that th if you have that mentality, you might as well never get into crypto, man. Because you're always go think that you're someone else's exit liquidity. Based on traditional TA, there was a gap to fill between 64 and 66K. Objective completed, carry on. There's no gap. That that's I think that's complete nonsense. Am I still moving to Orlando? Oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I love that traffic so much. So so much. Uh will BlackRock someday dump Bitcoin? I have no idea, man. I'm not Larry Fink. I'm not the CEO of BlackRock. I cannot tell you. All right, I'm getting out of here. Overall, guys, flash crash happened. Yes, it did happen. I stated a couple reasons why. But does that mean this is something new? Something we haven't seen before? Does this mean the bull market is over? Does this mean you should exit the market? No, 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 and no. Okay, stay strong, my friends. I'll see you guys tonight, 8.30 p.m., Central Standard Time. Have a good one. Take care.